how to cap points. Step one, step on cap point. Step two, stay still. Step three, cap cap point. Okay, I'm gonna give the interview now. <laughs> beautiful play, beautiful play. I'm gonna give the interview, so I'm gonna have to leave Mel. Um, so you're not gonna be able to hear me unless you go onto the stream. So this, you have the stream audio. Excuse me. Here you go, guys. MVP of forever, Betty. Uh, good evening, Baka Betty. Good evening. Hello. That was one of the most magnificent performances I've ever seen um, as a commentator. I've been doing this for at least 20 minutes, so you're, how does it have, feel... You have a lot of experience. You're a, very, yeah. you're a very seasoned commentator. Yes, thank you, thank you. Tell me, how does it how does it feel to be a champion once again? Well, last year, when we did the spring tournament, it's funny because half the people that are on SLP were on the team I beat last year when I when I won the MVP as a no mic sniper. So right, it's it's good it's good to repeat. Zan, Zan and I both both are repeat champions, even mm -hmm. though he in his own his own uh, admission he did not play very well on Gravel Pit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we it, it went it went fairly well. Uh, probably a lot better than I expected it because I I don't play soldier anymore. And right. usually I'm pretty struggle. Um, there was one point in the gravel pit game where I stood directly in front of an Uber and didn't die and killed the medic, so that was pretty funny. That was, that was. Um, that was on stream, by the way. Oh, that's great. That's so great. Um, what else? We also used um, Ruin, um, who hasn't played this game in probably about two years, and he did, right. he, he did fairly well. Um, overall, pretty proud of the team. Um, we uh, we had some people that couldn't play, like B Ball, yeah. who's who's the leader of our team. He's always uh, he's he's really busy now, so he can't really be on as much as he used to be. Hmm. Uh, what else? Now what else? that leads me to a, a very important question: Are you getting the snapbacks, or are you not getting the snapbacks? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He still owes me snapbacks from last year. Ooh. When I when I beat when I beat his team in the tournament, so he's gonna have to. I don't know. He's gonna have to give me uh, two this year. I need two snapbacks this year. Need some money. Um, mm -hmm. Probably. Probably going to Disney World since that's what, that's what that's what champions like to do. You need your money, your snapbacks. Do you have any bitches to go along with you to Disney World? Because I think bitches uh, love Disney World. If that's if this Wikipedia article is correct, mm, they love Disney World. Yeah, I I'd have I'd have to um I'll, I'll have to put on my my plan on my gear. I'm gonna go have okay. to go some bad bitch hunting. Good. See how, yes. See how it goes. Mm -hmm. Got to get that Disney World sunburn, have to deal with the struggle, the struggle there. Yeah. Hmm. We have some uh, viewer questions as well, if you're up for that. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Melanatrix asks, or says, I get pretty nervous when I play against you guys, so I want to know, how does one become so fearless when facing well-known players? Um, don't care. Just, don't just, care? Just walk, just walk forward and have fun, that's what I do. Mm hmm So are you of the um you only live once or uh I don't I don't know if this is correct, the YOLO mentality? Is that is that yeah, the that's, lexicon that's that the kids that, use that's these what, days? That's what the hip kids are calling it. Yes, I do mm, employ hip kids. quote unquote YOLO strats when I the play YOLO strats. I see, I see. Do you think your team is holding you back from doing as many YOLO strats as, as you possibly yeah. can? Yeah, hmm. I am. Right. How does it feel to carry SLP all the way to the finals and then single handedly win the game for them? Um, it feels good, because I did it, I've done it two years in a row. I did it last right. year with no more fucking round, than I did this year with SLP, so basically what I'm trying to say is I'm the best player of all time. Right, That's basically right. basically what I'm trying to say. I mean, I'm just so honored to, to have this conversation with you. I, I can't, I, I just don't know what to say, because you're so good. You're just the greatest, I'm not just the best player at TF2, best player at Brink, best player at Peggle, and <laughs> probably the best player at Life. Yeah. I, I do what I can for my people. That that's the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. you, you know, and we're, I, 
I, I'm trying are we to all children in your in your hood in your no. in your abode? Not We're not all children. No, you guys aren't children because if you you were children, you would be beneath me. You guys aren't beneath me. Everybody is on. Everyone is a peer. It's just people have different roles. You know. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, everyone has different roles in life. You know, everyone's got to hold down what what they're supposed to do, and each person's task is important. Is it like the food pyramid? Like, where would your teammates be? Would they be like grains? Maybe dairies? Um... Perhaps sweets? Uh, I think they- I think most of them would be grains because they're- they're very important. But mm -hmm. people- but people don't really notice them because the grain's kind of plain and all that stuff. Yeah. I'm def- I'm definitely the sweets because... You don't- Yeah, you got the sweets. You don't want to have me too much, but when I'm there, people enjoy it. And mm -hmm. plus, and plus that, that sweet kind of protrudes into ice cream like that and dairy are, are ice cream and, you know, team, team ice cream all day, every day. Right. Would, do you feel as though, do you feel as though Team Adrenaline is perhaps, um, what's the word I'm looking for, lactose intolerant? Because it seems though they couldn't handle you, Team Ice Cream, you know, they couldn't handle you, so perhaps well, they had some trouble uh, ingesting you. Well, I was, part of, I was part of an elite group of PS2 players a while back, referred to as Team Tornado, probably the greatest team of players ever assembled. And our mantra was, you could, you cannot handle the tornado. And mm -hmm. I am kind of the last vanguard of Team Tornado, so I have to keep the legacy alive. Um, one of our other players, Roxy, was supposed to play today, and I'm about to put him on blast. He, he didn't play because he... He, according to Zan, and I might be paraphrasing here, he okay. couldn't handle this sh this shit game with its shit FPS. Hmm. I see. I see. So we we were we were in the we were in the party for um for fucking I don't know how long. We were in there for like an hour or two, like trying to find a fifth because pink version wasn't online. You know, the one time he isn't online is when we actually need him to play. And, right. Uh, uh, Emblem scrounged up, ruined the play, who hasn't played the game in two years, like I said. So, through all the hoops and, and all that stuff, we were able to play the match. I understand it went pretty late, and that might have factored into why TA didn't do as well. Maybe they had some people that weren't really fully into the game, or like tired, or Perhaps. something like that. But, Perhaps. you'll never know. I mean, it's if, always we could a have if we could have played at an earlier time, or at a different day, we would. But, the thing is, like, with SLP, like, other than me, everyone else can only play like on Monday at like like the nine to like eleven time frame. Like we're we're a pretty difficult team to schedule with. So mm -hmm. it, it wasn't it wasn't out of a it wasn't out of a a um what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't out of a um like like a a, mal a malicious plan. Right, you weren't trying to sabotage. Of ours. Yeah, we weren't trying to sabotage TA by only playing on Monday. It's the fact that we really can't play any other day besides Monday. I mean... Uh, yeah, that's you know. understandable. Understandable. Now, I have um, a viewer question Go for from it. Shane... Oh, excuse boy. me, Sean A. 329. Oh, uh, his question is, why did I see no 720 kills? Um, you didn't see any 720 kills because they didn't let me. They, they didn't they, let you. They didn't let me, they didn't let me, alright, I'm gonna use my lexicon here. They didn't let me cook out here, because what I wanted to do was I wanted to, I wanted to get the, the 720 kills, I wanted to get the slide taunts, no! I had to play serious, I had to stay wow. here, there, uh, they, they, the team holds me back, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I, I can't. Do you I believe? Can't... Do you believe that was a reason why you lost two rounds on Granary and one round on G Pit, because they didn't let you go all out? I think so. I think hmm. so. I think so as well. Uh, we have another question from Melanatrix. She wants to know how the communication was between players on SLP. Um. Basically, the communication was really nice. Um. Ruined was high. Like he was, he was, mm -hmm. he was pretty high. So he was high on of, life. Uh, not quite. High on enjoyment of playing <laughs> such a beautiful game, right? Yeah, like yeah, he was, he was happy. He was happy. He loved the adrenaline, no pun intended, of the game. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. 
Uh, he was doing fine. Zan was doing his usual. He was he was he was pretty hype. He brought the hype. Um, Emblem was kind of holding the team together. He uh, I tried to I try to I try <laughs> I tried to do a whole bunch of dumb shit in the game as far as strats go, and he just he just wasn't having it. He, he kept mm. shutting me down. Oh, uh, oh. Um, Spears Spears doesn't really talk much, but when he talks, it's important. Like he tells he tells us that we shouldn't die because Lord knows that if if I'm not told not to die I'm just gonna jump in every time because I don't care. Right. Hmm. Um Zan's oh, getting at me right now. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All you do got is hype. I mean you did you did call most of the pushes and the focuses, but the main thing about you is the hype. Like the call right. hype. It's a generalization. That's very theoretical, but you're like the I, practical I got, person. You're the one who actually a, gets results. I got a lot of questions I gotta get through, and I sometimes I gotta generalize things. Like you're, you you bring height to it with the calls and with everything else, and that helps us get get that helps boost our morale and get us psychologically into the game. Right. So you know he he does he does it big. You know he 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 wasn't playing the best on gravel pit, but. He was de he was definitely he was definitely instrumental in our team in our team winning. Um, mm -hmm. Shillin, Shillin was uh, yeah, he was kind of, he was kind of on the he was kind of on the quiet side, but you know he was doing his thing. He was doing his thing. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, just a whole team effort, and by team, team I mean a whole you effort. Yeah, it was it was all me. I mean, well, let's be honest here. I mean, half the time I just spent talking about how I wanted to go play Monday Night Combat after the game. I didn't even really care about the game, to be completely honest with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you still uh, managed to do all of that? That's just so impressive. So impressive. Uh, well, we have a few questions go for from the audience I'd like to get through. Uh, let's see. Zan wants to know why the whole team has to be on blast. Um, the whole. The, I'm not putting the team on blast. I'm just saying it like it is. Mm -hmm. Hashtag shots fired. Next question. This is from Native Avian. He wants to know how do I Betty? How does he into Betty? Um, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta devote your life to struggle. Mm. Um, I'll try to think. I'll try to think of a good way to put it. Basically, because I all I do is struggle in most things I do. Sometimes life throws me a bone. And I get, and I guess this is, I guess this is life's way of filling me a bone because usually when I play this game, I play terrible, and I just do mm -hmm. the same thing I do I, I did today. But I actually play kind of decent today. Yeah, and I hope to get boned one day myself. Uh, another question. This is from Einhander. He wants to know your thoughts on Tomoko. I love her. Next question. Is she your, is she your waifu? Um, no comment. No comments. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> final question. Um, how does it feel to be back to back, to back to back MVP of the community um, and of the it, tournament? It feels great because um, basically my role in this community, eh, pretty much ever since I, I joined the community in uh, in two thousand eight. I joined the community in May of two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. uh, I was. I was okay at first, like, I wasn't, like, good or bad, I was just kind of there. Uh, I was on, I was on threat level midnight, if I, if I, if I can, if I can, if I can be afforded to, to, to take people down the little, the little memory lane trip right now. Sure. Um, I was on threat level midnight with two people, Hardcore Poser7 and Bandit Andrew, they were the leaders of the clan. Um, mm -hmm. on the clan also were... Um, Moist Kiwi, which I'm sure all of you are aware of. Um, Amazing salt, Taunter. Sa sa salty Kiwi. Shouts out to Kiwi. Um, mm -hmm. King Frosting the God, the best player to ever play this game on any version of, of all time. Like, mm -hmm. I'm, the, I'm the best on Xbox. I'm the best of all time on Xbox, but he, he holds it down on PC and in PS3, even though he's never played PS3. Um, right. There are other people on the team that I don't remember right now. My memory's kind of fuzzy, but... Uh, point quick out, question. Wait a second, before you continue your journey through memory lane, I must know, you just called him the best player. However, what about King Frosting? Isn't he the greatest demo of all time? The he's savior the of TF2? 
He's the greatest demo man of all time, and the, the, it's not it's not even remotely close. But the thing of it is, like, he 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 just he he's not. He's not the total package like I am. Like when 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 it matters most, I I I show up and play. Just just like just like today, just like last year, just like I've been doing, ever since I came into this. Ever since I came into this, because you know you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Someone's gotta be the shepherd of the struggle. Mhm. Mm the shepherd of the struggle. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Um, All right. Wait, just one more quick question. This is from okay. No Comms. Was Carlos playing under McChillin's account? Um, no. No. Uh, yo, love, tell him what I said. Oh, yes. Um, Shane would like to to tell you that Hungry greater than Betty. Hungry um, greater than Betty. Um, see, here's the thing. Uh, I modeled... Uh, funny story. I modeled my playing style for Demo Man after Hungry. Hmm. Um... I I have I have the utmost respect for Hungry. Um, ever since I was on TFT, after that whole thing, I made an effort to put him on every single team I was on. So me, him and I, we're we're cool. We're we're friends and all that. But he don't he he's moved on. Like he's moved on to bigger and better things. Right. So it's my job. It's my job as as his his fellow teammate for so for so long and his friend that I have to carry on his legacy vicariously through myself. Mm -hmm. And so, carry on you do, sir. Yeah, yeah, so I respect him, I respect Shane's opinion, but I'm the best. That's just, mm -hmm. just that. That's just how it is. A respectful disagreement. I <laughs> I appreciate your candor in this interview. <laughs> I do what I, I do what I can. Mm-hmm. One last, one last comment, and then I will, I will be getting off. Um, Melanatrix says that she wants to be the bone that life throws you. Uh, any response? Um, I, 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 don't, I don't really know how to respond to that. Uh, um, I can't into words. I can't into words. You've had it here, folks. <laughs> Betty can't, can't into words. I, before, I, before you get off, I just want to do some quick shout-outs. Okay. Um, shout, shout out, shout out to, uh, Dr. Robotnik, my boy Lasecki, still stuck in Bad Aim Bay. Um, mm -hmm. Gerardi, who just got free from being banned. Mm -hmm. Free Gerardi. Um, the Hellraiser holding down the struggle connection out in Miami. The boy Bonkers, who's probably AFK. Uh, shout out to the whole SLP crew. Um, pink version, even though he showed up about an hour and a half late. Still love him. Um, shout out to... Shots out to TA for putting up with our bullshit while we while we had to find a stick. <laughs> um, shots out to you for streaming and having me do this interview. Appreciate um, it. Shots out to Mel as well for showing up. Shane, my my boy Shane, holding it down for the Highlander team. Um, mm -hmm. Roxy, you're a bitch and I hate you. Um, <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> uh, who else? Uh, obviously Frosting, Kiwi, the whole crew, the whole Goon Squad. We in there. <laughs> mm. This this win was for the entire community because I know everybody wants SLP to win. I I mm, know everyone did. I know every person in the community wanted SLP to win, and you know what? I did it for all of you guys. I did it. Mm -hmm. You are the savior that we truly deserve. Thank you so I... much, Betty, for this interview. <laughs> Thank, uh, no problem. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Betty, a legend in the TFT community, one-on-one -on -one with me. I am honored, and I am, I am blessed to have this opportunity to speak with such a human being. So, I'll be back in about five minutes, um, and then I'll be doing other things. <laughs> I will be doing other things. Uh, I'll be playing uh, South Park 64 for Gambit, because Gambit's been waiting. Gambit's been waiting. Um, ah, well, good night, Melanatrix. Thank you for, for watching. Thank you for watching. Yes, good game, everyone. Good game. And I'll be back with some water. Yep, good night. Peter goes up here.